from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're having a look around a Finmaster 6100 MC. This is a 2008 boat, but it's been fitted this year with a brand new Yamaha 100 horsepower outboard. So it's a 2015 outboard and it has the balance of its, of its factory five year warranty remaining. The whole package is in fantastic condition. It comes complete with a in dispension roller coaster road trailer. It's a fabulous little hard top cruising boat. It makes an excellent little family day boat. Um, and, and even something you can spend the odd night on board as well. This boat is in fabulous condition all the way around. Um, taking a look at it, I think it's a, a beautiful looking boat. Sort of classic lines to it. Um, a nice rich colour scheme with this navy blue hull stripe that, and the red accent. Obviously being a Scandinavian boat, it's built to very high standards and it's ideally suited to our climate here um, in Northern Europe. Now, taking a walk down along the port side, the gel coat down this side is pretty much on mark. I can't find anything to point out here, both above and below the rub rail. The rub rail itself as well is pretty much immaculate um, down along this side and the graphics, the Finmaster graphics, the 6100 MC bags, all the little fixtures and fittings, the handrail along the, the cabin roof up there is solid and secure and the bow rails are nice and solid as well. This boat has been a, a Northern Irish boat from you so it's been locally owned it's always been used in fresh water. It's never been kept in the water, so the whole bottom has never been anti-fouled. So the gel coat, right the way to the bottom of the keel, is completely pristine and light new. The boat has a great little set of camper covers here. It's covered in the aft uh, cockpit area there as well. Um, they're, they're the factory covers. They're in really good condition. They give you full standing headroom in underneath them there. This also doubles up as a great area to fish off the boat. So what you can do is you can take the seat cushions off, the, uh, the little seats themselves are just held on with a, three screws each, so you can just unscrew the seats, put them inside, there's nothing underneath them, you can see it's clear there, um, so it gives you a bit more deck space and it means that if you're fishing off the boat you can get right up to the edge. Stepping into the cabin, it has a very spacious and airy feel to it, mainly because of the, the extensive glazing all the way around it, big windows all the way around and this sliding open and roof makes it a nice bright and airy place. As well as serving as comfortable accommodation whenever the boat's underway and you're, you're going somewhere, this cabin also doubles up as sleeping quarters, a toilet compartment and a kitchen. Um, and we'll go through it now in detail to show you exactly how you can reconfigure the, um, the furniture and the space in here to, to suit whatever you're doing. If you're looking to prepare food or anything, the passenger seat folds completely forward and out of the way. And it gives you a nice flat surface here to prepare food on. We've also got a pressurized sink, cold running water. On a little day boat like this that's also set up for overnighting, a heads compartment or a toilet is important and this boat does have one. Um, all you have to do is remove this seat cushion here and then we lift up this, uh, this locker lid. It's on a little gas assist strut um, and it reveals this little porta potty. So it's a little portable chemical toilet. Um, but if needs be, if needs must, it's, it's a great thing to have. The helm position itself is very comfortable, it's well laid out and it's easy to use. First of all, we've got a nice supportive helm seat with a bit of side bolster in it. You can adjust it fore and aft so you can get a comfortable seating position. The visibility whenever you're sitting at the, at the helm position is great. Like I said, these big side windows, nice big windows across the front of the boat give you great visibility all the way around. The pillars on the corners here are pretty narrow. So there's nothing there um, of any substance to, to block your view. We've got the throttle and shift lever over here on the right hand side. The Yamaha uh, remote control unit. As I said, this was brand new with the new engine. Um, we've, and that's matched up to these uh, digital Yamaha gauges. So um, and they're brand new as well. So you can see here, it's currently showing 34.6 hours on the clock. And we've got our taco over here. <coughs> On this side, I've got a digital fuel gauge here as well, um, showing there's over half a tank of fuel in there at the moment. Um, and you get information showing, you know, trip computer, fuel flow rate, all that sort of stuff. So it's all really good, usable info. There's another great little outdoor area up at the uh, forward part of the boat. So we've got this little forward cockpit. Um, it's got a poster seating, L-shaped seating running around the front here. There's enough room for two adults to sit out here comfortably or a couple of kids. If you're interested in this Finmaster 6100 MC and you'd like to find out more about it, then please sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com. All you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video 
on our site at GulfstreamBoatSales.com and then you get VIP access completely free. What you can do once you're logged in there is navigate back to the uh, Finmaster 6100 page and you can watch our full length video review where we go through everything in much more detail, show you around all the nooks and crannies in the boat, show you all the storage areas, we'll take the cover off the engine and get a really close look at that. You can hear the engine starting and running and you can watch the full extent of the water test footage that we have as well. Um, I think these Finmasters are a cracking little boat. They, re they really do give you the best of both worlds. You get decent outside space, you get a cracking little cabin, it's an all weather sort of boat so if you're somebody who wants to you know, make plans to go boating and not be completely dependent upon the weather, something like this is great because if the weather's against you, just close the cabin up um, and you can still potter around the lakes or the rivers or even potter around the coast um, on, uh, on per days and then whenever you do get a bit of good weather you can slide the roof open, open up all the doors, you get a nice breeze blowing through it um, and it's just a cracking little, little day boat that you can spend the night on as well. So, as I said, if you're interested, just sign up for VIP access on the site at GulfstreamBoatSales.com. Thanks very much for watching.